And so this video begins, our third and final day in St. Augustine, Florida, the oldest city in America. There's a couple more things we got to do today and also today just so happens to be my 36th birthday, April 30th, 2023. 36 years old today, I can't believe it. I'm so grateful to be alive. Old Town Trolley Tour coming through. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. Not our first time in St. Augustine. If you've been watching the last couple videos, we've been here for a few days. Today is Sunday, our final day. Again, my birthday. I'm gonna do something I've always wanted to do today. Actually, I've actually been inside the building where this attraction is today, but it wasn't always a wax museum. Potter's Wax Museum. Highly anticipated. Didn't know I was gonna do it on my birthday until today. There was tons of things we could have done today, but I thought that would be fun. And also behind us, Castillo de San Marcos, or San Marco. Did I say San Marcos? Sure did. I said San Marcos, but it's San Marco. We're gonna to tour the fort in the daylight. Last night, Chris and I were out here on a ghost tour. That was the last video. And we were able to go around the fort at night, which was very creepy. But today, I will be going inside the fort after Potter's. Potter's first, then the fort. And then we're just gonna have a good time. And also, there will be dinner later on the way home back to Tampa in Oklahoma at my favorite restaurant in all of Florida. One of my favorite stops, and you've never been there. So yeah. it's a birthday treat for the both of us. So, all right. Miss Queen Halloween, Chris the girl, and Tampa J on this windy, glorious, beautiful morning in St. Augustine. Nice. Uh, much appreciated and much ahead, my friends. Here we go. As I ended the introduction, another trolley tour. That's the Red Tram Tour. I believe it's owned by Ripley's. Yep, that's where you get on, Ripley's Believe It or Not. We've been there before, last year. And Potter's Wax Museum, on the corner of Cordova and Orange Street, just a couple blocks off of St. George. This was originally the St. Augustine Drugstore. And we learned last night, it is haunted by the ghost, the headless ghost of Chief Osceola. Henry Flagler, right here on the bench, just before the drugstore, and if you look up there, you can barely make it out. Dr. Evil, one million dollars. And in the other window, next to Dr. Evil, it's Austin Powers. Yeah, baby. And thanks to my fiance for the birthday gift of purchasing the tickets ahead the of tickets. time. Yeah. How much were they? I think it was about 14 or 15 each. Okay. You get a slight discount if you buy them online. There you go. That seems fair. Yeah. And right on the old drugstore doors when you walk in, there's the hours of operation. Nine to five. And we have begun the tour. We came through the old drugstore portion. The museum, we'll show that after but we're continuing into the wax museum. They said that all of these wax figures are made with real human hair. And you're looking at George L. Potter right there. He's not completely finished yet though. Potter's Wax Museum is America's first, but it wasn't always in this building as we thought. Yeah. This was originally just the drugstore, which I took that tour several years ago, and you would have as well. But you went to Potter's sure at the did, old location. Yeah, that so this is the one that I went to, yeah. And that traumatized you. It sure did. <laughs> Henry Flagler, the man himself right here. January 2nd, 1830 to May 20th, 1913. This is the man one of the two Henrys credited with building Florida Standard Oil Company. Okay, working our way through, as you can see, there's something ahead, and also there's something over this way. Just kind of showing you what's going down here. There's a few people coming through. It being St. Augustine, we have to show the conquistadors. Juan Ponce de Leon, the man who discovered St. Augustine, and Pedro Mendendez of Avila's Spain, the man who founded the city of St. Augustine. So we're not allowed to touch the wax figures, but there are things we can touch like this. Try on the Conquistador helmet. Right. That looks great on you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Conquistadora and Conquistador. 
I love that they have like the fort, the facade of the old fort behind yeah. us. There's Ponce de Leon. Mm -hmm. The Fountain of Youth. It's right across the street too. It is, yeah. Not too far. Now we have lice. Now we have lice. Chief Osceola, 1804 to 1838. He was a Seminole leader during the Seminole Indian War when the United States tried to remove the tribe from the lands in Florida. And allegedly his ghost haunts this very building. His headless ghost, he's been seen roaming around the drugstore. Ooh. That's... I think we've heard that tale in a We've heard that tale in a couple spots. places. I remember hearing a story on the Jolly Trolley, the spooky Jolly Trolley that we took. That's the thing with ghost stories. Good point. They always travel, so no one knows the true origin of that story. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream. The great Baptist minister, civil rights leader, an activist, and humanitarian right here in the corner of the Wax Museum. Also, there's a cool picture of Martin walking right there. Real movies. I saw this in a Nickelodeon once. Check this out. This reminds me of the train station at Magic Kingdom. They have several of these. You can watch the movies. There's, There you go. There's an example of what you would see. My friends, the legend. Will Rogers. Look at that. Now, I once visited the Will Rogers Museum with, with my grandpa when I was a little kid. I barely remember it. It may have been Will Rogers. Could have been Roy Rogers. I get my Rogers mixed up. Oh, look, we've headed out west. Several wax figures in here. Also, there's a little bar going on here. Bartender, give me the juice. And earlier this week, thanks to Ancestry.com, not plugging, just using, Davy Crockett is my relation. We yeah. share the same great-grandfather. Mine is like nine times great-grandfather. His would have been his true great-grandfather, but found that out. I think that makes us like cousins or maybe an uncle or something. I haven't gone too far, but definitely we share a grandfather. Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. And it looks like he was born in 1786, died in 1836. Oddly enough, I used to have that same cap when I was a kid. Oh yeah, what little boy did it? Right? The Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show. We've got Buffalo Bill and Annie Oakley to the right. Annie Oakley was America's first female superstar. Buffalo Bill, Pony Express rider, ranch hand, wagon train driver, buffalo hunter, fur trapper, gold prospector, showman, creator of Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show. Born 1846, died 1917 at Lookout Mountain in Golden, Colorado. And across from Davy Crockett, of course, you have Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone was a man, big man. Remember that old song? And the war between the state sections. Several generals from both sides. The Civil War. Ulysses S. Grant, also our 18th president here in America. Now, they say that all of these are accurately made to their exact height. So, it, it kind of shows you that people were a little shorter compared to myself. I guess I'm 6'2". I'm, I'm not your average height, but it looks like everyone here is about the same height. Are you okay? So you have like a fear of like these I wax do. figures? Yeah, especially, especially when there's Confederate soldiers behind yeah, you. Oh. This is World War II over here. Everyone's like... Oh yeah. We got FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, which I found out also, I'm a Delano. I'm related to FDR. Crazy. Douglas MacArthur. Wow, okay, I see. Oh, there's the scariest one of them all. Ugh, ugh. Looks like we have the allies on this wall over here. There's uh, George S. Patton, General Patton right there. Battle of the Bulge. Mussolini. That man. And over here, we have Hideki Tojo, which was leader during World War II for Japan, I believe. General of the Imperial Japanese Army, 40th Prime Minister of Japan, Hideki Tojo, right there on the corner. So World War II, you've got the enemy, and you've got our friends, our allies over here. Check this out, Bernard Montgomery, British Field Marshal of World War II, famous quote, if we are attacked, 
then there will be no retreat. If we cannot stay here alive, then we will stay here dead. And right there in front of his Texas flag, you have Sam Houston, which was a very tall dude. He's a lot taller than me. American politician, soldier, and seventh governor of Texas, 1859 to 1861. All right, America, we've got several presidents. Gerald Ford right there. All the way through the room. Just gonna pan over to show you what's going on in here. We've got all the way back to the original and kind of in between. We've got Abraham Lincoln over here, 16th president. And also, look at that. Mary Todd Lincoln, his wife, right there below him. Ooh, these look so real, don't they? Just a fun fact, my grandfather, my paternal grandfather, his best friend was roommates with Gerald Ford at Michigan University. His name was Earl Townsend, and he was best friends with my grandpa. And so my grandpa actually got to go to one of Gerald Ford's birthday parties. They've got the patriotic music playing, they've got the president's seal right in the middle of the room, and the White House lectern there. This is a cool photo opportunity. We gotta take a picture here. All right, everyone, thanks for voting. As your president, President Jay, I now will sign an executive order that everyone, all of you out there, will get free pizza on every Friday of every week for every year of your life. And that is why you voted for Jay. Much ahead, or should I say, munch ahead. Nom, 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 nom. I believe in you. Just had a moment here. I was thinking, what if all of these mannequins, all of these wax figures come alive when the doors close? It is the most haunted city in all of America, or one of them. Imagine if all these presidents come alive. Oh, the dark side of Saint Augustine and Herman Munster warning us, beware. Oh, that is so cool. The horrors depicted within are not for the faint of heart. Scenes of mayhem and misfortune from those ancient cities past provoke the senses. Enter at your own risk. Parental guidance is strongly encouraged. Okay, back into 1565. Ouch! 1565 is when St. Augustine was founded. And it looks like we have a conquistador stabbing this fella here. We've got the French and the Spanish going at it. Ooh, and check it out. A giant room here. Oh my gosh, oh the horrors. Ooh, let's see what's going on. I see someone hanging. Ew. The missing lovers of 1833. Now, pay attention because we are going to see later where the missing lovers were discovered dead. In 1784, Colonel Garcia Marti became commander of Castillo San Marcos. His young wife Dolores began an affair with Marti's handsome assistant, Captain Abella. Soon after, the lovers mysteriously disappeared. Almost 50 years later, in 1833, a hidden room was discovered by the British, and in it were two skeletons claimed together. Remember these, because I'll show you where they were discovered over at the fort later. And yesterday we were at the medieval torture museum down the street and we learned of such torture device called the Garrett. This person was an English buccaneer by the name of Andrew Ranson and he was found guilty of leading a planned attack against St. Augustine and sentenced to this device right here. And if you don't know what's going on here, you can kind of make out the executioner right there. It's basically a strangle or torture device. And eventually they would actually put a, a spike here to go into the back of your neck. Now, a tombstone with a bell and a string tied around it. Now there is no information here, but I can tell you right across the street here in the Yellow Fever Cemetery of 1821, there were several people that were allegedly buried alive 
And if you've ever heard the term dead ringer or saved by the bell, well, this might actually come into play in your mind as you're looking at this image before you. They would tie the string to the finger of the deceased just in case they weren't actually dead when they buried them. So there you go. Dead ringer, saved by the bell. If you wake up, ring the bell. If you're not dead, oh my gosh, look at this. This is gruesome. Look away, trigger warning. The hanging of Sim Jackson. He was sentenced to hang at the county jail for brutal murder of his wife. Asked by doctors to be a part of a medical experiment, Jackson used hand signals to let the doctors know how long a hanged man remained conscious. It took 14 minutes for Sim Jackson to die. James Oglethorpe, British naval commander, lays siege to St. Augustine in 1744. English colonist James Oglethorpe founded Georgia in 1733. And there's several things up there. Very creepy. Looks like wax figures that are not done yet. A chandelier sets the vibe. It's Frankenstein's monster. This is a horrifying display. Look at this. I see a little Boris Karloff in there, don't you? Created in 1838, the fictional character Mary Shelley created Frankenstein's monster. Also, Boris Karloff's portrayal as indeed in 1931, the movie Frankenstein. And in the mirror over there, oh my gosh, I was startled by the creature. Florida boy creature from the Black Lagoon. 1954 to 1956, the last surviving member of the race of amphibious humanoids that lived during the Devonian age. Gilman, AKA the creature. Scenes for the creature from the Black Lagoon and Revenge of Creature were filmed at Marine Studios in Marine Land, Florida, also at Silver Springs. I don't recognize this one. I don't recognize him or her. Who knows? Ooh. Ah, okay, I walked right past it. Chris saw, she looked up into the darkness. It's the Xenomorph from Alien yes. right there. And you said it reminds you of the great movie ride. Uh -huh. I was thinking the exact same thing. Rest in peace. It's pretty cool, look at that. It should have like something dripping from its yeah. mouth. <laughs> oh, the boiler is hot. Freddy Krueger, right here in the corner. Looks like he spilled some paint on him. I think that's the reflection though of this. And right below this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde head, it says, See the cells representative for your own head. I guess you can buy it. Look at that. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, or Mr. Hyde, Dr. Jekyll. I want to say that's Dr. Jekyll. Yeah, that's definitely Mr. Hyde. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock the door. The greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan. Huge fan when I was a kid. I was fortunate enough to see him play a couple times in Market Square Arena, being a Pacer fan. My dad took me to see him several times to play as a Chicago Bull. I love that he's wearing a Potter's jersey too. That's pretty cool. I would go broke to see these two perform in concert together, playing the same piano. Ray Charles and Ludwig von beethoven love that they sat them together also i love ray's jacket it's definitely my style and the renaissance michael angelo one of my favorite turtles leonardo da vinci a display all to himself right here i like what they've done here look at the long beard of da vinci also i'm enjoying his wardrobe i love that they have all kinds of props here behind him and several prints that Da Vinci designed, created himself. And we've got some Harry Potter, some Hogwarts, and this character here, Dobby. Of course you got Harry. And he who shall not be named, according to Chris the girl. Nice wand you have there. Hey son, I like them shoes. They come in blue suede, 
And the king of rock and roll right here, Elvis Presley. Young Elvis Presley, I'd say about 1956 Elvis Presley. He did a good job with the king. I love that his microphone's right there. And some of my favorites over here, especially a man all the way to the right. And with that stare, he scared the Dickens out of me. Charles Dickens, born February 7th, 1812, in Portsmouth, England, died June 9th, 1870. One of my favorites of all time, A Christmas Carol. Thank you, Charles, for that gift. I read it every Christmas. Samuel Clements, AKA Mark Twain, born November 30th, 1835, in Florida, Missouri, and died in Reading, Connecticut on April 21st, 1910. Tom Sawyer, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. One of my favorites. Ernest Hemingway, or Ernie as he liked to be called, and Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. We've got to show Ernest Hemingway. I've been to his home in Key West many of times. Ooh, haunted door slam when I talked about Ernest. Been to his house several times. Uh, I always love seeing his six-toed cats. It's one of my favorite stops of all time. Such a beautiful estate. I always love the story of the swimming pool on how Ernest came home one day from a trip and his wife had put in a swimming pool and he was not very uh, happy about it and he reached into his pocket, he pulled out a penny and he threw it in the pool and he says, might as well have my last penny. And they took the penny out and planted it in cement. His wife did it because she thought it was hilarious right there beside the swimming pool and you can go see that penny for yourself. The man, the myth, the legend, Walt Disney. Look at that, also Cinderella's castle in the backdrop, butterflies, and he's got a little Mickey Mouse in his jacket pocket, in his coat pocket. And look, Snow White, right below him, with a little blue jay. That's your favorite, right? That's perfect. I'm wishing. <laughs> wow, we gotta get a picture with Walt. <laughs> I love it, nailed it. And sad to report that Walt Disney died of lung cancer in Glendale, California. Stop smoking, my friends, stop. Just a few rooms left. About to walk through this one. We have different monarchs and historic leaders in here. I think you already see or recognize a few of them. E2 Brute, the famous words of Gaius Julius Caesar, also Roman Emperor lover of Cleopatra, who just so happens to be right next to Julius here. Cleopatra became the ruler of Egypt at age 17. She reigned from 51 to 30 BC and was the last ruling Egyptian pharaoh. Although her ancestry was Macedonian, she was an Egyptian queen and worshipped as a god. Also, I'm thinking of Elizabeth Taylor, one of my all-time favorite movies. Cleopatra, such an epic. And a moment ago, you heard me utter the phrase, E2, Brute, and that was Mark Anthony's words. He was the one who betrayed Julius and was also Cleopatra's lover. So you see what was going on here? Do you see it? Caesar did. King John the First of England. Looks like he died in 1216. And right next to him, King Richard the First, aka Richard the Lionheart. I was reading that he died from multiple sclerosis. Edward of Woodstock, the Black Prince, aka the Duke of Cornwall. Disguised as a man and with her hair cropped short, she traveled across the countrysides of France and ultimately led any army against the invading English at Orleans. Here, she succeeded in repelling them from its borders. She was eventually captured and under the judgment of Bishop Cochon, convicted over 70 accounts, including heretical act of dressing in a man's clothing. Joan of Arc was burned at the stake and at the old marketplace of ruin in 1431 at just 19 years old. The science and discovery section, this is awesome. Talks about the Apollo program up here from 1961 to 1972 at Cape Canaveral, Florida. 
the most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It is the fundamental emotion that stands at the cradle of true art and true science. Albert Einstein. And there he is right behind me the whole time in wax form. E equals MC square. Although I don't see that written anywhere on the chalk board behind Albert. Albert was actually born in Germany in 1879 and died in 1975. He came up with this famous general theory of relativity, which we still use today. Oh, pardon my chalk dust right here below on this little chalkboard. It does say E equals MC square. Neil Armstrong, 1930 to 2012, the first person to ever walk on the moon. Also a graduate of Purdue University. Go Boilermakers. Wilbur, okay. What do me and this man have in common? Both from Indiana. We were born about a mile from each other. Born in Henry County, Indiana, thank you. We've been to the museum several times, once with my grandpa and my uncle, and a second time with my mom a couple summers ago, the Wilbur Wright Museum. Born right there in the heart of Indiana. His brother, on the other hand, Orville, was born in Ohio. Their father was a traveling preacher, and they basically roamed the Midwest, and they had several children. And as you know, the rest is history, the inventor, of the airplane, the co-inventor of the airplane, Wilbur Wright, 1867 to 1912. Florence Nightingale, the mother of modern nursing, 1820 to 1910, was a philanthropist nurse and social reformer. Nightingale cared for wounded soldiers during the Crimean War. She drastically improved their survival rate by implementing better hygiene and sanitation practices based on data she collected about common causes of mortality in the hospital. She also established the world's first nursing school. Mm, almost done? You are. Oh, thank you, Yoda. Yeah, we are almost done. Hey, R2. Oh, we got 3PO in the corner. And of course, Darth. Vader. You gotta have Star Wars in here, right? Yeah, even though, are they made out of wax? I don't know. I don't know if they're technically wax. Maybe Yoda's yeah. wax. It's so fun though. Do or do not, there is no try. You, he will be. He will be. Use the force, Luke. Wait, where's Luke? And over here, a little demonstration of how they make the wax figures and the molds. Looks like in the case down there, they've got Princess Diana, Princess of Wales. I always think of uh, Edward Scissorhands when I see stuff like this in the beginning. King Henry VIII and all six wives. I, I don't know if these are all his wives, but I know he had six wives. There are one, two, three, four, five, six around here and it looks like we found the exit oh wow seinfeld we've got george and we've got kramer right here this is so cool oh wow oh and britney spears well yeah look at that it's britney yeah. hit me baby one more time it was the seinfeld that it influenced that Gotcha. She did say hit me baby one more time and we stepped out into the bright sunlight the streets of St. Augustine Wax Museum Potters complete Castillo de San Marcos explore the oldest masonry fort in the continental United States and that's exactly what we're gonna do just take a stroll around it's been years since I've been inside the fort 2009 actually you've been in been inside of it multiple times. I've been inside of it, yeah, but as a, as a kid. This was like my brother's favorite thing to do here Aww. in St. Augustine. So never as an adult? I don't think so. Oh, this is cool. Let's see what you remember. Yeah. See what I remember. It's been a while. And again, we were out here last night on our ghost tour, a walking tour, and we went around the backside towards the water of the castle, and we got to experience where the firing wall was. So if you missed it, check that out, the last video on our ghost tour. It's windy out here, oh my gosh. Feels like Texas. And here we are, 
gonna pay up. It looks like $15 each. And thanks Chris the girl for the birthday present, buying the admission today. And what year is it? And this is Chris the girl and I's second fort together. Just about a year ago, we took a boat out to Fort Sumter. Sure did. In South Carolina. Yep. Glad we're not on a boat this year. Nope. We're on a moat. Yeah, we're on a moat. Into the castle. Yeah. There's a park ranger over there that just came out and said there's going to be um, a tour at 2.30 in about five minutes. Don't think we're going to do any tours today. Uh, living in Florida only three hours away. We have the opportunity to come here anytime we want, and I have taken the tours here before. We might come back and do that. Okay, into the darkness. Now, you remember when I was talking about the room where they found the two bodies? Well, we're getting close. Okay, so through the cutout here, and through the smaller cutout, and I remember this being a lot smaller, climbing back here, they've opened it up a little bit, but this is the room I was talking about. We're gonna go inside. So when the British took over the fort, the Spanish had abandoned it and they found a brick wall. And beyond the brick wall was this room. And inside, it was full of gunpowder and the two bodies that we spoke of back in the museum. And this was the room, I guess, the Spanish used to bring and put their people in that they, they just wanted to go away, so. It is said, they've done paranormal investigations in here, that it is very haunted. Ooh, creepy. I got the whole room to myself right now. This is where they found the two bodies. Here comes Chris the girl. Okay. Careful. We're getting older, especially me today. And this is where they had the, the gunpowder. This is where they store the ammunition. Okay. This is like the wall more towards the water. Gotcha. We were actually on the outside of it last night. Okay. Cool. One way in and one way out. Think yep. about that. Being in here at night all by yourself. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> looks like that Sadalgo is going up there. Ooh, looks like he's about to fire a cannon or something. Here we are. Nice little view up here of the water, the intercoastal. The Atlantic, Ooh, way out there, the wind picking up. Ooh, squirting out the water there. Yeah. Look at that. Wondering it on one side and it's coming out on the other side. Oh my. Really clean in oh, it. Oh wow, yep. <laughs> Washing the cannon. Yeah. Never seen that done before. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's the fountain of youth. You don't want to drink that. Though. Yeah, don't drink That's that water. Sure. This is a lovely birthday. Mm-hmm. History, beautiful fiance, gonna get some food later, yeah. St. Augustine, mm -hmm. and the weather. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And also this view right here, check mm -hmm. this out. We've got the soldiers cleaning the cannon, and then you have several boats going back and forth. And there's the St. Augustine Bridge over to the right. That'll take you over to St. Augustine Beach, and the lighthouse which you can clearly make out there on the horizon just a little bit the historic and haunted lighthouse of st augustine i think pretty much everything's haunted in st augustine everything's haunted everywhere everywhere right everywhere. okay right out here's where we began you can actually see the main gates right there of st augustine and st george street behind all the restaurants there and all right it's time to go down all right what a great birthday weekend here in St. Augustine. We had our fun, had a great time. The videos are out there. If you want to see where we stayed, make sure you check out one of her three videos she made this weekend. It's in one of those. But for now, we're going to take about a two hour trip down to Oklawaha in Marion County. I get to show you where I used to live. Yeah, I'm I haven't, excited. I haven't shown you this. Also, Gator Joe's, that's where yeah. we're having dinner. So we'll see you when we get there. Almost to Oklawaha, had to stop and show Chris where I used to eat breakfast with my parents back when we lived here in Oklawaha. The damn diner. Home cooking at its best. Yes, D-A-M, damn diner, because right behind you over there, Chris, 
is the Oklawaha River, and there's a dam right there. Pretty clever. Yeah, it was some good food. I remember having breakfast here several times with my parents. We didn't live too far from here, just on the north side of Oklawaha. We're not eating here today. Actually, we can. It's closed right now. It's more of a brunch spot. But yeah, just had to show you. Maybe take a picture in front of the damn diner. It really is some damn good food. I bet it is. Yeah. Backtrack just a little bit, came back over the bridge. Oh, this used to be a bait shop. It's abandoned now. But my mom and I and my dad, we used to come up here and get bait so we could fish. Sad to see it. Just sitting vacant. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's the old Oklahoma bait shop right here before the dam. There's a park back here. And we just had to prove to you, I just had to show you that there's an actual dam over here. The name of the restaurant does not go to waste. Look at all that water spewing out down there. I wouldn't want to drink that. I don't know. It kind of looks yellow. And I was just out here about a year ago. Yes, I lived in Oklawaha here on the north side of Lake Weir in the summer and fall of 2009. I've done a full length video on the story of Maul Barker and actually got to visit her house the last time I was out here. We're going to go to Gator Joe's as we did that last time we were here. I've been wanting to show you this area for a long time. Didn't plan on doing it on my birthday, but it worked out. I, I'm kind of glad we did this. Welcome to Oklawaha. We're gonna get some Gator Joes. I always get the same thing when I go over there. Welcome to the world famous Gator Joes at Johnson's Beach. Almost 100 years old, 1926. The Barker Carpus Gang was hanging out here back in the 30s. And here we are, back at it. Gator Joes at Johnson's Beach. The little beach area over to the right. What do you think so far? It's beachy and it's, yeah. there's a lot of people out here today. Are, yep. Okay, so here we are back out at Lake Weir. It, the water's choppy, it's very windy today. Normally it's the water's more clear. Such a nice place. This is one of my favorites. I'm so happy to be here with you. This is cool. And a look back at the restaurant, which is bumping. You can actually come up by boat, walk up into the restaurant, go over to the beach, do whatever you want as the Mall Barker gang used to do back in the 30s, which the, the original house sat over there. All right, I always get the same thing. And the Gator Tell Philly Sandwich with local caught gator, alligator, alligator. Tail Philly, yummy. It's one of the best things I've ever had. That's why I always come back. Hush puppies and a grilled cheese, please. That's how we always do it. And always here, but always on loan, the foot of Gator Joe. If you don't know the legend, well, I made an entire video. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. All right, so we found our way over to Kearney Island Park. The park, I was out here to see the Maul Barker house. You can't see it from the road. Just showing Chris around. It is still windy as you can see. Oh boy. We're going to end the video right here. This is Little Lake Weir. All right, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below if it was your first time. If you enjoyed it, come on back. Much appreciated. As I always say, much ahead. And I just want to shout out to everyone who wished me a happy birthday the last several days. Thank you so much. It is so much appreciated that you guys, um, you guys watch and support this channel. I really appreciate all the nice warm greetings and um, you know, reaching out to me, wishing me a happy birthday. That means a lot to me and thank you everyone. I appreciate that. This channel wouldn't be the same without you. So thank you. I'm, I'm very grateful. I feel like a very lucky person to be able to have this platform and to go out there and simply just document my experience and the fact that you guys come with me, it just it just still blows my mind that anyone watches. So I just want you always to know that you're loved, no matter what, and and you're awesome. Thank you, and uh, especially this girl right here, I love her so much, and I want to thank you very much for this weekend. This is the second uh, birthday, my birthday that we spent together. Last year we were at the Rays game, and this year we decided to do a whole weekend in St. Augustine. So thank you. Chris the girl for making this possible. It, it wouldn't have been the same without you. 
you know, I love you. And um, that's it. We're going to wrap it up right here at the Co uh, Kearney Island Park. Right here where I used to live at Akawaha. It was very special to come through here and show Chris my old stomping grounds. And of course you guys too. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the St. Augustine videos. Go check them out if you missed a couple. We were here for a few days. Also check out Chris the girl's video. She made several St. Augustines. Yep. Uh, St. Augustine videos, so go check that out. There's always a link in the description below. And also, I'll put the Ball Barker video so you can see what I was talking about my time here. I go very uh, in-depth and I tour the house. It is, uh, it's an awesome tour, so I hope you enjoy that. Well, that's it. We're wrapping it up. It's almost 7 p.m. We both got to work tomorrow and make it back to Tampa. We're about halfway between St. Augustine and Tampa, so we got about an hour and a half drive to go. And that's it. I'm gonna say it one more time. Know you're loved, know you're awesome, and know, one more time in this video, I'll always say it. And know, no matter who you are, what you're going through, I believe, there's much ahead for you. So keep your head up, put one foot in front of the other, and keep on moving forward. That's how winning's done. I just quoted Rocky there too. <laughs> Have to. I love you guys, see you later. Much ahead, bye bye. Hope you don't mind the wind. Wow, this is abnormal for Florida. It's more like Texas. Bonus features. We made it home. I have to show this. Shout out to Lance a lot. Our good old pal and buddy Lance. This is just a sweet dude. He sent me a birthday card. Look at that. You blow out the candles. I'll cut the cake. Michael Myers. Such a sweet gift. Also, He got me a shirt. Social distancing world champion, Bigfoot, Sasquatch. And he knows that we love it. Thank you so much, man. This was so nice. Thanks, Lance, a lot. You're the best. Thank you, my friend. I love it. I can't wait to wear this. All right. Bonus features. Happy birthday to myself. Happy Thanks, everyone. Birthday. Can't express it enough. Thank you, everyone watching, for all the the sweet gifts and everything. Thank you. All right, that's it. That's it. Bye-bye. My battery's actually dying. Oh, perfect. All right, it's over. It's over. We're home. Much ahead. Thanks, Chris, the girl. No problem. My Vanna White. Yep. <laughs> I love you. Appreciate it. Love you. All right, see you, Lance. Bye-bye.